We're here with Tracy Lorenz. Good morning to you. Good morning, Oscar. <laughs> I can actually hear you pretty good. Either you got a better phone or I did one of the two. Well, I'm up on the roof. Oh, so knowing, <laughs> knowing that you were going to call. Oh, okay. And, and I've got rabbit ears on my head. Oh, good. Good. I'm strapped down. That's good. Did you buy it from Kmart? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure. Now, speaking of Kmart, I mean, I don't, I don't want to bring that up again because that was kind of a long conversation that we really didn't need to get into. But anyway, um, you said there was one thing I, I sent you on Facebook that you didn't get a picture, and it was a picture of um, a little shirt for a baby, and it said, uh, from Kmart, my first shirt. So that's, I just I just thought it was perfect to send I'm, uh, you, you know. I'm, I'm wearing that shirt right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I was able to find it on ebay yeah kind of like a midriff kind of shirt yeah okay yeah yeah like all the shirt like like the old oklahoma football jerseys where they were yeah cut off yeah. <laughs> i can pull it off sure yeah sure you can yeah yeah um the, the, the reason i i want to talk to you too because you were talking on facebook and it kind of got a lot of attention as far as what is it the rendezvous restaurant in the Grand rendezvous Haven? the vu it's closing down no my heart is broken yeah, that's uh, that's quite a place because during the day it's old people nursing coffee, and then the lunch crowd comes in. And then at night, because they sent me there to do a story about it, because it was the last twenty-four hour restaurant in West Michigan. So the Chronicle sent me there once to do a story on what happens after the bars close. Okay. And, uh, it was an adventure. Yeah, kind of like the Denny's in Muskegon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the Denny's in Muskegon. Which got minus closed the, twice, minus, but anyway. Minus the gunplay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm not sure the people coming in there had the, uh, the hand strength to hold a gun. Right. In right. They were in into, uh, the, the VU. But yeah. Um, so I went in there and it was pretty dead and all of a sudden two o'clock hit and it just starts flooding in. And, uh, all the people are coming from the bars to, sober up somehow magically through burritos and sheep herders dinners <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah i uh, i talked to the to the waiter and i asked him what's the most popular thing ordered and without even looking up he said burritos and i said why burrito and he said because they use them for pillows <laughs> and there was not there was not a, not a hint of irony in his voice yeah yeah and he was um well, the bus boy's name was Dave Magical. His real name was Dave. Dave spelled D-A-E-V and Magical with a K. Um, <laughs> who's, a, who's, a, who's a psychic, which led to a whole another column on Dave Magical, the psychic. But yeah, he's, a, he's a psychic that I actually hired to do a party at my house and showed up two days early. So that's, <laughs> that's how good of a psychic. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Dave, you're a psychic. You should know and um and then he was also a psychic who moved to new orleans a week before katrina hit oh wow so, yeah it's kind of a did he make it uh yeah oh okay he, all right that's he's, good he's still he's still around i believe yeah yeah he's I'm not, I'm amazing not, not amazing people yeah well what what happened was so i do this column on dave magical and uh uh turns out that there were many more psychics in grand haven it's like a hotbed for yeah. palm readers and and uh crystal ball readers and so i went to these people's houses and one lady's got a crystal ball wrapped in a diaper <laughs> and she brings it out and she's crystal ball reading and another one's got tarot cards but i go to dave magical's house and it looked like dave magical's house and he's got this blue rat and he's playing with it and and uh he said blue he's gonna rat? Oh. Like he dyed him blue. Oh, cool. cool. Um, yeah. So, so a punk rat. All right. So he says, you know, I'm going to take out a Ouija board. I'm like, okay. All of a sudden these three guys appear from behind a curtain and I'm like, ah, and I'm like, what's going on? I said, well, we want to see him do the Ouija board. Cause last time he did his arm caught on fire. I'm like what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Nope, dude. laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why he's a bus boy at the rendezvous. Yeah. yeah. So but yeah, the rendezvous is closing down to become a uh, pod dispensary, sort of a lateral move, but huh. still heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. I, well, there's a lot of restaurants that have, that couldn't make it through this whole COVID thing. I, I can't imagine how any of them can make it. Yeah, I don't either. 
Well, it's like, except for the, like I say, the McDonald's and the, those kind of play, the fast yep. food places are just kicking butt right now. Cause everybody's, you know, going through the drive through. So. Yeah. Cause I mean, downtown Muskegon, I don't know how they're, you know, every, every bar down there is a, you know, bar restaurant, right. Home group type of place. And if you lose a, a year's worth of income, I don't see how that's recoverable. Right. Even at eight dollars a beer or whatever they charge. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yeah. You know, so well, fun. the Bob I think went out, didn't it? In Grand Rapids, I mean, that was that's a, kind of an institution in Grand Rapids too. I think they right. went out too. Yeah. The Bob. It's the gone. Bob. It's gone. Yeah. You know that's, what that stands for? Uh, no, I don't actually. Uh, big old building. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I yeah. can see that. Yeah, it was a big old some, building. I did, some, I did some work on that back in when it was first opened up. Now, see, when I worked at GVU, I used to we used to do the uh, the jazz night over there at, at the basement of the Bob. So I know yeah. the building well. Unfortunately, it was a lot it was, of steps. It was a cool place. <laughs> it was yeah, a cool I, place. I did, I did stand up there. Yeah, and at least once a year, somebody would plunge to their demise. Oh yeah, those steps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They had I always try to hang upside down and. I always tried to take the elevator. It was slow, but you know, it was a little safer. So, so am I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how'd you do as far as stand up there at the Bob? I mean, it's kind of a rough Good. crowd. Yeah. yeah it's, they it's laughed. Rough crowd, but you can't, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't throw anything heavy. That's always good. Yeah. So that's so positive. Cause when you do stand up, you can't really see the crowd cause you got the spotlight in your face. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a weird sensation because you just like say stuff and then this noise comes at you from people laughing, you know, I don't know, right. they're still here. And then you go to the next one. But, but if any, at any point, if somebody had, you know, whipped a salt shaker at me or something, you have no hope. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't admit, you wouldn't be able to dodge you, it. You can't, you can't see a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a weird, uh, doing stand up is a weird life. Cause late at night, you have to have like three brains. Cause you've got the, you got to remember what you're saying brain. And you got to pretend like you're, just made it up brain like you haven't said it 50 times before <laughs> and then you've got the clock running in your head because you know the the red light actually at the bottom they use the candle usually they chant shine a light that says you know you're done oh really at the bottom, they would light a candle and you could see the candle so now know, just out of curiosity in, in in a comic's mind because you know you are somewhat of a comic <laughs> sorry you. yeah <laughs> <laughs> what? what yeah so as far as stand-up goes i mean what do you do do you practice in front of a mirror before you do a show or do you practice I was more of a winger i didn't uh you just kind of because you, you, you'd have a plan yeah but then the plan would go away in three seconds so, yeah I, I didn't do a lot of practice because it it, it, it kind of like my me. show <laughs> Yeah, a lot, a lot like this. Yeah, this I did practice in front of the mirror. Oh, did but you? Since it's radio, I turned the mirror around, so <laughs> <laughs> didn't really matter. Yeah, just especially in front of a door. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the kind of comedy you could have had if you right. the bottom. And, that's right. And, that's right. I could have. Yeah. It was. What was it? When was it? Um, oh, the late late nineties, early two thousands. I oh, know exactly. Well, that's exactly what I used to, when I used to work for WGVU, I, I can't believe I didn't see you then. Yeah. <laughs> I was skinny. Um, <laughs> that must've been it. Yeah. So, so one, one time I know where I was and what year it was. It's when Mike, Mark McGuire hit, um, the home run to, to beat Hank Aaron. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember it that was on stage. And this was at the comedy castle, which had a, bar next to the comedy place yeah like attached to it but a different room so i'm up there you know prattling away and all of a sudden i notice there's nothing coming back it's like quiet so i shield my eyes and I look and the room is empty because mcguire was batting oh, okay. and he was at, and so everybody ran over to the bar to watch it on tv yeah to see if mcguire hit the home run so i hopped off stage i went over there with him and he hit the home run and then we all went back and that was it did you make any yeah. jokes about it or no um, I don't think so. It was, it was a solemn moment. Yeah. Yeah. You can really so, make fun of it. So basically the, the home run was, was more exciting than you at that time. Oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By, by a mile. Um, yeah. The thing with stand up, I, I remember one time I went in there and, um, I was, I was third. I was the headliner. So they had this kid who was first he was in Grand Valley and he had this, this notebook full of jokes. Oh, geez. Like, like a note, like a, like a three wing binder. Yeah. And he's just studying away. So he goes up there and, 
and he his first joke was, "What's the deal with cats? You leave the window open and they run away." And like nobody laughs because I think like that's not the whole joke. Yeah. So it's like silence, and he just gets shaky and panics and runs off the stage and <laughs> never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> he had a one joke career. You know, my so, dad, my dad did that for the very first radio station I worked at. Um, he, I sent him a tape of, you know, what I was doing on the radio. And he, so he sent me a bunch of jokes cause obviously he thought it wasn't very funny. So right. he, he sent me all these one liner jokes and I'm, I'm trying to read them and I couldn't read his writing. So they, they were even worse than <laughs> <laughs> you're it was, trying to see them into yeah. the situation. It's, like, it's just amazing how I didn't become, you know, a superstar, you know, with those jokes. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. especially on that Christian station, right? <laughs> <laughs> you think you would have been discovered. You would have thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get us out of the boat. I don't care what it costs. Right. We need him at NBC. He's got some great one-liners. Yeah. He's got some great one-liners that don't really make any sense. But they are one line. Yeah. So. You know, I found those, though. When my dad passed away, we, you know, we cleaned out the house and everything, and, and I found those one-liners. He had them all written out in little cards. So They're I don't timeless. know. If, I don't know. Yeah, I don't get know him, if he, he carried them in his pocket. He must have carried them. could use them. Yeah. Yeah. He must have carried them in his pocket or something. And he's, he's yeah, like. because he's having a conversation. He's like, wait. And he whips I got a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Flips through the flips through the note cards. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. There's so a your joke. mother. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's something like a spontaneous wit. That's right. That's right. Well, I can say I, I never understood how he used those, but he he, he must have carried them or something. I don't know. Anyway, it was fun. You find it's, it's kind of weird how you find certain things out about your parents after they pass. You know. But anyway. Yes. Um, and, and I don't know because mine are still alive. But well, that's good. That's good. I'm I, glad might find, I might find note cards at a later date yeah, or pictures you don't want to see, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. 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 Thank God for Polaroid. Yeah. Artist yeah. renderings. <laughs> yeah. Like um, trials. So, so, so the, so the view or the rendezvous or whatever you called it. Yeah. Um, the rendezvous. The view. Why I did you, why did you want to go? Did you go there? You, cause you said you used to ride your bike there or your moped there all the time or something. Yeah. Oh, it's got fabulous food, or they had fabulous food. Okay, so it wasn't just the old people. Die for. Really? No, no, it was, uh, they, they hit for the cycle. They had everybody coming in there. Yeah. So I went there for lunch a lot, and, yeah, it because I don't know if you've ever been there, but it was just sort of, I won't say it's a dive, but it wasn't anything particularly special. It's the kind of place that had the um, the paintings on the wall that some customer did that you could buy for, and it's over in the mountain. Oh, money, okay, yeah. And they weren't that good. The paint by numbers or <laughs> they had like the, the dollar dollar tree frame around it and like oh six hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that cat yeah. color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were they were c- close to being good, but yeah, it's nothing that you'd wanna yeah. hang on my wall anyway. Now see the the place that we used to hang out all the time when we went to Grand Haven because we have some friends that live over there and we used to uh, meet over at the uh, Cloverville Bar. Oh. Huh. You know about that place, right? Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. It's the Clover Bar. Oh, the Clover, Clover Bar. Bar. Okay. I'm sorry. Clover Bar. Cloverville Bar is much further away. <laughs> Cloverville. Well, that's why I, I was driving. The wife was just telling me where to go. So, you know, the Clover right. Bar, anyway. Clover Bar. Good yeah. pizza. Good pizza. Good subs. Yeah. Good pizza. Yeah. Good yeah. So, anyway, we used to go there all the time. But but that. So, is, and you drove right past the rendezvous to get to it. Th- that's what I thought. I thought the rendezvous was right. It was like, almost like right across the street, almost, didn't it? Or no. close to. It's right over the bridge. Oh, like have you ever noticed the? Uh, then I haven't been there. <laughs> the the coast the coast guard boat that's next to the highway. Yeah, that people drive by every day and no one knows it. Mm. Yeah, it's right across the street from that boat. Okay, the boat's right. like in their front yard, so it was actually kind of hard to get to. Um, but once you were there, you were in. You were there. It yeah, another another great great one over there was Bricano's, of course, the original one there. Yeah, still there. Yeah, still in the old house. Still go there once a week, it seems. Okay, they've they've been in the news a few times as far as trying to keep the restaurants open. Um, yeah, I think they're doing okay. It's always yeah because they 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 had indoor. I mean, it's pizza. Come on, <laughs> it's pizza. Yeah, yeah. It's, and that's they what they do. Cut them in squares though, but now they cut them in uh, in triangles. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I like for Carlos there because there's no options. I mean. They have pizza. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And they have like four toppings. They have one size. So yeah, 
when you call up, you don't have to make any decisions. I'll have six of those, please, for myself, and then four more for my <laughs> wife. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> extra, extra grease. Please. Extra grease, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so really in, in Grand Haven, there were three like places that you went, and that was... Yeah. Well, years ago, uh, I used to go... Prano, Prano Pups, Bricanos, and the Rendezvous. Years ago, I used to... Um, work over there in grand haven and um i actually worked there a couple of jobs in grand haven um seems like you're stalking me like everywhere i go you're no no this is years ago (laughs) (laughs) before i even knew who you even even you that knew that you even existed but anyway or the household name yeah yeah before that um (laughs) actually i think one of the places is still there ready rental i think it's still over there in grand haven but i worked there for yeah, for a couple of years or a year or Amazingly, something. Amazingly, like they don't rent pizzas. I know. No you food. Think because they're like right by Percanos. Yeah. They would- it was in between radio gigs. I worked there for about a year. So anyway. Ready Rental? Yeah, Ready Rental. So anyway, I used to go to Ray's all the time because I loved their greasy oh, greasy burgers. burgers and greasy fries. Oh, man, that was good stuff. The fries are the best. The burgers are always kind of cold. I don't think <sighs> I ever had a hamburger there that was hot. Really? I, but yeah, the, I can't um, remember. Ray's. They're all sweating in there and yeah, and <laughs> it dripping out the like, burger. <laughs> yeah, and you and you gotta like move down in line like the like the soup Nazi. Right, right. Take <laughs> order. Take a big stride to your right. Well, you know, I was. Girl. It was a few years after that is when I started having heart trouble. So I'm not quite sure if that had anything to do with it or not. <laughs> I'm sure, there's a correlation. <laughs> Extra cheese, please. <laughs> with a little <laughs> grease on the side. Can I get it in a syringe? <laughs> <laughs> just mainline it yeah right <laughs> but yeah there's there's a lot of great places there i mean uh, you know the wife and i we i got oh, i told you that story before about going there to, to culver's over there in grand haven and the one guy sitting i told you that story didn't i one guy sitting in a in a lounge uh, in a um garden chair you know one of those little garden chairs right. and yeah. he's he's there sitting there in his socks and he was he was huh. like he was like maybe 50 60 years old and he comes up to the cars and I thought he was like a homeless guy coming <laughs> to get money. And he was like the owner, I guess, to let us know what line to go in for credit card or cash. So wow. it, it was kind of odd. He was just sitting there in his little chair. In the chair with the socks. Yeah. You think socks. he would just have a sign with the arrow on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cre- yeah. Credit over here and cash over here. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they were. So maybe the, he's a homeless the, guy. They wanted to give him some extra money. Say, hey, yeah. just tell him to go here. here. Yeah. <laughs> and the butter burger, just for more for more health. Yeah, Here, yeah. Having a cheeseburger, let's throw some butter on there for you. Right, right. Well, you know, we my my wife's excited because uh, Whitehall has just uh, got a brand new Culver's. So, you know, it's been oh, it's, Whitehall uh, stepping up. Yeah, I know. Spending gravity to like 1978. <laughs> now we've got a Culver's. <laughs> That's right. With Tracy. Yeah. Well, you know, I go and I go by, <clears throat> you know, where Great Lakes Downs used to be all the time. Yes. And you know, here it is just a giant parking lot with a hill behind yep. it and uh i mean excited to dj there for many years as far as the great lake sounds that you know in that lounge area they had there and mm-hmm. uh it just seems to be a shame just to sit there because it's been sitting there for ever i mean they did try Soon. to do yeah they did try to Soon do the, be a casino yeah that's what they keep saying but anyway yeah. <laughs> i'll believe it so, when i see it but you know it's, they, it's just a giant chunk of land you can lose money on horses cards doesn't matter yeah well, I, why did they tear it down though? Why did they? Why did they? You could have used it for like a hall or a, a rental hall or something, you know. But well, they the just tore it they, down when they named it instead of Churchill Downs. It was tear it down, so they kind of like, you know, it Te- tear it down. <laughs> it took me a while to get that one. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a little slow, <laughs> a little slow this morning. So yeah, <laughs> tear it down. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they still. I think they still have the but, Great Lakes Down sign out there, though. I think it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> bring a horse out there yeah run you can't People play on that. will, will plenty, it finish yeah plenty of places Three to, to run run the horn or the, the well you know the one thing about that when they built that place i never could figure out that why they put that put the building on a hill like that because you had to drive up the hill in the winter time it was right. like you're sliding down the hill yeah. trying to get up to pull well, you, so you could see because you look down on the track you could see the whole track yeah the trotters the yeah trotters. i knew that that was a disaster from the moment they announced it was going to happen yeah yeah. Who's gonna go there? Well, yeah. I did. I went, <laughs> <laughs> but I but I got paid because, like I say, I yeah. DJed there for God. It was had to be three, four years anyway. 
And He's a guy uh, with a bag of hamburgers and a microphone. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And the guy used to always give me free tickets to all the little people they'd bring there. Like, you know, Juice, Juice Newton, man. I saw Juice there. Juice Newton. That's right. I saw Juice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, Dan Seals before he passed away, I saw him. The Bop, you know, um, minus minus Crofts. Yeah, yeah, minus my <laughs> no, not that, not that one. But that's his brother or oh. something. Yeah. Anyway, um, no, Dan Seals was part of uh, England Dan and John Ford Coley. Ford Coley. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I saw John Ford Coley by himself, and he's a uh, you know he started singing the songs that he did with with him, and I'm thinking that's the they they just don't sound yeah. It just don't yeah. sound right. Anyway, um, it's like also, Garfunkel. Yeah, I saw Garfunkel once without Paul Simon. It wasn't the same. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what a Some wonderful world it would be. Um, yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't that wonderful a world? Yeah, those are the kind of concerts they send me to uh, to review. Yeah, well, the classic the, classic rock yeah. all stars that was pretty good. That was a, they had that one over there. That was with. Uh, uh, Peter Rivera from uh, Rare Earth and uh, the guy from um, um, Sugarloaf and, you know, a few other different bands. Well, they to- should have called it the uh, the War Stars, the classic rock War Stars. Yeah, could have been that. But, the, you know, instead, the, of, instead of all stars. They're, yeah, because the, the, gu- the guitar player was one of the guitar players of many that, you know, played with Alice Cooper and, you know, that kind of thing. But it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And Peter Rivera was pretty decent. I liked him. Um, also, uh, hey, another big one right there, John Anderson. Saw John Anderson there. We were just a swinging. It was awesome. John Anderson? Yeah. Just a swinging. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no wonder he came up with a generic name. Sorry. I got those tickets for free, man. Can you believe it? <laughs> you got ripped off. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, uh, as far as concerts like that, I saw um, Jefferson Starship, I guess they were at the time. This was, and they were at the Grand Haven Airport. Really? Because somebody, somebody, you know, rented the entire airport for this huge concert. So wow. they did it at the same time as Summer Celebration. Oh. And there might have been 10 people there. Really? There's people just leaning on the stage, talking, you know, got their arm on the stage. And it's the only time I ever saw a guitar player, he's playing and he looked at his watch. <laughs> <laughs> was grace slick was grace slick there though at the time no, or oh no. she wasn't there well then of course 10 people yeah without grace yeah. forget about it without grace they yeah. were they were nothing yeah they're just um, like a star and they didn't sing uh we built the city yeah <laughs> quite possibly the worst song. Or, or white rabbit uh, or any of that I hate, stuff yeah. i hate i hate we built i think about we built the city it's such a horrible horrible song and it was written by bernie Taupin, which Really? It's knocked down a couple of pegs in my. I didn't know book. that. Yeah, because you and I do share that. Bernie doesn't tell a lot. Yeah, tell a lot of people that he wrote that song. But yeah. Well, you know, you you and I share that same same love for the Bernie Tappan um, writing, anyway, because you know yeah. Elton John, of course, you know made his stuff famous by you know putting music to it. But you right, know, he Bernie Bernie left, and Elton just kind of crashed. Oh, you know, big time! Yeah, it was yeah. you know there's a. Uh, he also wrote for he wrote, there was an album I can't remember the name of the album but it wasn't a very good one but Alice Cooper did an album uh, with with all songs written by Bernie Tappan and really? it was just it wasn't wasn't good I don't think I don't think it was the right genre no. for yeah. for Bernie they had so. that magical matchup between him and Elton and just, yeah yeah it just worked it, uh, it just worked yeah, yeah so yeah but uh, yeah. yeah but see a lot of people don't understand that either that I mean you know this that, that we talked about that before as far as that movie goes is that I wasn't real happy with it because it was like he he used these songs as part of his life and it's like wait a minute you right. you they didn't you order. didn't write the words I mean you know yeah. you right. wrote the music but you didn't write the words you know so and how they I mean how he got because Elton John went to you know some record executive and he's like here here's some lyrics and he pulls an envelope unopened envelope out of like a pile of envelopes and throws it out john and it was bernie Taupin's lyrics yeah and he's right back in the train like hey i can write to this stuff so which is which is kind of funny you think about it some of those words that bernie wrote it's like okay yeah yeah. rotten peaches i mean you know stuff like that in the sun yeah (laughs) bending the jets so anyway um yeah we were talking about the rendezvous, but that yeah. kind of got <laughs> wet away <laughs> somewhere, didn't See, it? This is this is why I didn't practice in front of a mirror because my standard because <laughs> it's right. how most of it went. You know how how I go just with the yeah. Kind of went on a tangent. Yeah, yeah. 
multiple tangents. You know, there was a one, there was one question though, that somebody asked me to ask you. Yeah. Um, has anyone lived long enough to buy a second bottle of Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> no. Let alone no. say it right. Anyway. <laughs> let alone pronounce it correctly. <laughs> right. Right. It's, it's like, um, like, a Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Like, like at the end of, uh, the old game shows, the consolation prize is always a lifetime supply of turtle wax. Like, yeah. that, like one, you get one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about two things of turtle wax. You, know, you go to the second one, it's like hard as a rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> turtle wax. Nah. I used a lot of it, though. I used my old Camaro. That thing was like it was decoupage. It had a quarter inch. Of... <laughs> yeah. But, but, but the more you put on, the easier it was because it just wiped right off. Cause yeah. And so much underneath it. But yeah, back in the day, I, I rolled through the turtle wax. That's, that's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Anyway, so that's <laughs> so, what, yeah, so, you, so you we, kid, I think we, here's a lifetime supply of turtle wax. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So who asked, who asked about the Worcester songs? Nobody. I just made it up. I saw it. No, I saw it on <laughs> Facebook. You know, I just thought I'd throw it at you. Now, yeah. uh, let me see. You got any, any new year's resolutions since this is coming out on in January here? Yeah. This. What are you What are you talking about, Oscar? No, you know this, this live performance that we're doing right now. Oh, 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 oh! It's in the future. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're going back to the future. Yeah. Well, it is January, so I know that you know the election got overturned, so that's a good thing. I'm yeah. Yeah. In <laughs> no, I'm not big on resolutions because yeah, I'm weak. Yeah. Well. Basically. Yeah. Me too. I make them and they just crash. Yeah. Yeah. So I have no. Uh, I did no resolutions for a week ago or whenever this is going to air. Okay. Trying to predict the future. <laughs> um, I got it. How about you? You got any? No, no. I, I just, gotta, just want to keep living. I just want to, my, my resolution is to not have COVID, not ever get COVID. That's my resolution. Yeah. So. I know I'm dodging it. Like the matrix. I yeah. see the, see the little virus cells coming at me and yeah. duck back. And, yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I've been surrounded by it. I've, I've been very lucky. So hopefully you know, I'm still alive when this runs, but yeah, yeah. I'm taking a lot you of me both. C and D and all that <laughs> stuff and just trying to avoid getting it in the first place. Yeah. And before, zinc, um, they say zinc is a good thing too. So if you can zinc, find it, yeah. yeah. I, well, I've got a little uh, bar of zinc here. I just lick it. <laughs> there you go. That'll work. I carry, I carry it around. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on, like make it like a bar. pacifier and just suck on it all the time. Yeah. You're all set. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and I'm safe. Yeah. Now, there is a, no. there, I've been, I've been transferring, I got to tell you that I've been transferring all these eight millimeter films for somebody and I'm finding in the boxes, I'm finding all kinds of interesting things. This one here, it's a, it's a little, um, infomercial thing. And it says, now you can add sound to your eight millimeter movies. Wow. Yeah. And then you open it up and Talkies. you see, yeah, then you, you open it up and you see, see this, uh, this guy with a projector and this little girl holding a microphone, like talking to the. <laughs> to the movie so you could add sound it's like one two three easy add family voices and background music to your eight millimeter films and it's this this projector only cost and this is back in 1950 like 58 or 59 and it says this projector only cost like 346 dollars so you know wow. why it didn't make it i mean back in 58 right. who had 346 dollars so they could put a microphone and talk well, while their could. movies were going Wally Cleaver, remember that episode? <laughs> yeah, oh, did he have one? Yeah, they uh, they saved up all their money and they bought a movie camera and it showed up and it was like the size of your hand. So their dad <laughs> hit it and bought him a real one. And, huh? Because you know Ward was a good guy, but yeah, yeah it was kind of a jip. But then they got the good camera. They wow, could, they could tape uh, Eddie Haskell's hijinks. Yes, this price includes federal tax and is subject to change without notice. But it was <laughs> it was from Kodak. <laughs> Wow. But three hundred and forty six bucks in nineteen fifty eight. Can you imagine? I, I just that's, that's a, like a that's new a car, car isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wasn't around back then, but I think it's like a new car. Yeah, why well, wasn't either? But yeah, put on the hood of your car. And, yeah. <laughs> well, I know my um, first car I bought for eighty six dollars. So you know, I know wow. that's you know. So I, I wasn't looking for a projector at that time. <laughs> <laughs> model, model A. Yeah, eighty six. Yeah, eighty six dollars. It was a sixty seven. Chrysler Newport, yeah. Man. Wow, that's a big car. That's a tank, yeah. Yeah, I used to float down the road. 
to get some mileage. <laughs> yeah. But gas was fifteen cents a gallon. Yeah, well, gas was was cheap. It just had just went up. I think it was like uh, maybe fifty or sixty cents a gallon. So wow. Yeah. Back so in the, back in the good old days, twice, it would cost as much as the car. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the car was just a vessel to haul the gas around. Yeah, but then I was, I would take my aunts to the, you know, my my mom had eleven sisters, so I just take my aunts to the doctors, and they'd give me ten bucks, so I had gas for ever plus yeah. spending cash, so I was good. You could take all eleven. Yeah, at the same time. That's right. That that's right. That's right. Come on, we're going to the doctor. Yeah, Hop in. yeah. Three of you in the trunk. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be fine. Sick. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> And I'm gonna film it with sound. Yeah, yeah we're gonna put, we're gonna put sound on this video. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna put sound on this video. <laughs> that was my one of my very first things I got when I was a paperboy, though. We talked about paperboy times, but yeah, the first thing I ever had was a, a eight. It was a Super Eight camera, though, that I used to have. So not just an eight. The yeah, Super, it was Super eight, eight, man. It was super. It was it was hot. It was of course it didn't have sound either. You know, I had to add that too with a tape. But anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> had to sync them up. You got a big book coming out or out right now, right? Um, Tracy Lorenz yes, does it's, it's Kmart. Up. No, it's called Humor. He wrote Humor. He wrote. Yeah. Now, when did you write kinda, this book? When did you find like it? murder? Kind of like murder. She wrote. Yeah. Only. Humor. She wrote. He wrote. Sorry, I played on words. I'm yeah. Sure some copyright issues. <laughs> I haven't found any yet. Because really, I'm only using one word. Yeah, that's that's the same. Wrote, otherwise. Um, yeah. So they wanted to put this book together, so I did it, and now, it'll. Now, who's they? Uh, the uh, the publishers. The you know my. Oh, my, okay. Yeah. Your your wanted, agents. My agents. Yeah. They want another another column collection, so it's what it is. Another column collection, and um. All the humor you've heard here is not in that book. Yeah, <laughs> this is all fresh <laughs> stuff right now. <laughs> this is all fresh. <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, there's a book coming out. It'll be on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Fast Pencil, all the big ones. Um, just look up my name, Tracy Lorenz, and there'll be a link there to buy a book. Okay. Now you should have taped all your your comedy shows at the Bob. Then you could have used that material too. I should have buy two books. Yeah. Get an eight millimeter of me doing comedy. Yeah. Now, hopefully you're writing all this stuff down too. You know, this is good stuff. Yeah, oh, this is this is gold. <laughs> you know. Gold. So anyway, the get get the book. I'm I'm sure it's funny. I mean, are you writing uh, for a newspaper or anything anymore? Or no? No, they've no. all okay. they've all shut down because of yeah. COVID. Yeah, there's no advertising. Right. Well, yeah. So that's... they told me I could write for free if I want to still keep writing, and I'm thinking, well, that's that's a bad precedent to set. Yeah. Because once you do it for free, it's hard to get paid again. Right. I just said, well, just let me know when you're ready, and I'll you know, yeah whip up some more columns for you. Well, but yeah, it all it all it's all shut down. Yeah, and it works. It works the same. People, I don't think people understand that. Uh, even though <laughs> we give them this fantastic show every week on uh, talking tunes, people don't realize that the radio stations are have, having a hard time because you know it's <clears throat> it's kind of hard to 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 have somebody advertise when they're not even open. You know. Yes. So, you know, right across the street from my office is uh, Community Shores Bank. I'm looking out the window, and uh, a guy's pulling in right now in a Model A. I'm not kidding. <laughs> a Model A Woody, so that could have been your first car. Yeah, well, yeah, it's close. Yeah, that's that's in what? in December. I'm not sure I'd be driving that, but yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, well, it's a nice day. You know, it's not snowing yet, so <laughs> yeah, probably figured he'd get it out for one last time before the snow hits. So yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it's got wood on the sides and a tan hood. Now, sure. I, the question I was going to ask you, you know, we talked about Kmart and uh, people seem to like it. You know, you got a bunch of hits on, on YouTube that people liked your comments about Kmart. Yeah. <laughs> and I get a kick out of it because that was my place, you know. Um, <laughs> but now what about what, a, the ladies. what? It's right. That's my what, place. That was my place, too. That's why I didn't make a hit with the ladies. But anyway, yeah. Uh, but my mom dressed me at Kmart for, for years. But anyway, the, uh, the one thing I was going to ask you about, do you remember the, do you remember the K-Tel records? Oh yeah. Did you ever buy any K-Tel records? Oh no. No. (laughs) No? I I was not cool enough for the K-Tel records. (laughs) Oh, you weren't cool enough for K-Tel? No. So you went for Ronco. Most of my records came off the back of, of, uh, like 
cereal, crisps. cereal boxes. Yeah. Get, yeah. Get your records on there. Red ones. Yeah. Um, no, but I never had any KTEL or, or Ronco. No, I went right to the good stuff. Yeah. It was, you know, uh, John Russell and, uh, Rick Hickman. Do you know them or, or anyway, they did John Russell. I played trivia with yeah. online. Okay. There you go. And the, anyway, yeah. they did the Saturday morning jukebox and they had interviewed like, uh, Dante and he was actually the voice of the Archies. So really? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that was quite an interview. It was good stuff. There's something you wanted on your resume. Yeah. <laughs> I was the voice. <laughs> He was the voice of a lot of things. He wrote a lot of different songs, so he's, he was pretty impressive. But yeah, to you know, to think that oh yeah, well hey, my record got on the back of a cereal post yeah. post or sugar smacks. That's what it was, sugar smacks cereal. Sugar yeah. smacks. Yeah, sugar sugar. Change quick. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. So I mean, it's like it, sugar, can't have the word sugar in there anymore. That would be funny though. I mean, I would that would be kind of terrible in a way. I mean, that'd be just like. uh being extremely famous, having a number one record, but nobody knows who you are. Nobody has any idea who yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. That would be bad. Oh, like when Barry Manilow started out and he wrote all those jingles. Yeah. Yeah. And no one knew who he was. You and deserve a break today. Champion. He did that one. And yeah, yeah, he did quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was the inspiration for um, Two and a Half Men. Like the one guy that actually made money writing jingles. Oh, yeah. 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 Charlie Sheen. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was pretty bad, too. All right. Well, you got anything else big that you wanna you wanna share with us before we uh we say no. A if day? I do, I'll call you back and you can edit it in. Put oh, it in okay. Put it in post. <laughs> you put it in post. <laughs> so, add, add add sound to it in video. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got but sound. Don't sync just... them up like a like a Japanese movie. Don't sync them up perfectly. <laughs> it's right. Because it look better. <laughs> yeah, I have a few videos of the, my old days when I was doing video that are do that, so <laughs> it look like a Japanese. Godzilla movie. Can you can you transfer uh, beta to VHS? Beta, no. I had two beta players. They both died. I can't seem to find anybody that wants to fix them, or I can't fix them. So beta, no. Can you transfer beta beta to um, eight track? <laughs> You're a <dead> machine. <laughs> I do have a, a conversion <laughs> that's hard to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I used to have an A-Track recorder, but not anymore. No, no. I, I did too. I, I won it. Oh, really? I thought I was the only one that ever in the world had an A-Track. No, I, I had one with Dolby, but mine was mine was from from Radio Shack, man. So it was top of the line. <laughs> it was. It was realistic. That's realistic, right? Yeah. So Radio Shack with Dolby. I can't believe that place. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. It had Dolby. It had fast forward on it and pause. Wow. I mean, it was pretty yeah. exciting. No, I had a nine track. Did you? I was one. I was one step up. <laughs> You've got eight tracks, so I need a nine. Yeah, I need a nine track. What well, was the? You know, I was going to tell you about the whole KTEL thing, um, but you weren't a KTEL fan. But anyway, they, there is a magazine inside one of the KTEL albums that I had. I got a bunch of somebody gave me a bunch of KTEL albums, and uh, there's a magazine in there, and it says Music Express was one, Powerhouse. Anyway, there are many names, and it says order now. And LPs were five ninety nine, and A tracks were six ninety nine. So you know it was much wow. better to get an A track for six ninety nine than it was yeah, an LP. Yeah, because you get the you get the skip in the middle of the song. Right, you click for, for an extra dollar. <laughs> That's right. You hear the song on the radio and it wouldn't click, and you go, "Hey, what's something wrong?" There? Yeah, something's wrong there. Because when I when I listened to Stick, that had the skip in the middle of right. The they they'd fade out and they uh, click click yeah. and then we'd go to the fade the song in again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was sweet. <laughs> not not big, not not big for karaoke. No, no, probably not. Yeah, it's not Wait a minute, it's gonna to click. Okay, yeah. we can sing okay. again. <laughs> okay, anyway, all right, man. Will you take care? For the interview. Yep. Yeah, thank yep. you. It makes me sound good. Okay, and thank and you. and do me a favor and and make sure to save a copy of that book for me. You know, because I know I'll try to order it and it'll be sold out. 